The current arc of the Darth Vader comic has recently provided us with the amazing backstory of the ancient Sith Lord Maumon. In doing so, we've not only seen the actions undertaken by Maumon within his own lifetime, millennia before the era of the Empire, but we've also seen his ability to corrupt others through his mask during his time with Vader on Mustafar. But these events on Mustafar weren't the first time we were introduced to Maumon's mask or its corrupting nature within the current canon. In this video expose, I will describe the story of how Lord Maumon's mask corrupted two Imperial Royal Guards in the years following Mustafar, as seen within the 2015 Lando comic. The first introduction to Maumon within the canon wasn't his interaction with the Sith Lords Vader or Sidious, but with Lando Calrissian. In debt to the crime Lord Torin, Lando was offered a job that would succeed in clearing this debt completely. Believing it would be a quick job with a massive payout, Lando accepted, hoping it would allow him and Lobot to pursue new, legitimate opportunities. Lando then assembled his team for the upcoming heist. Joining Lando and Lobot would be the two alien warriors named Alexan and Pavel, who would help with the infiltration part of the heist. They also recruited an Ugnaught named Corin Purs, a historian of antiquities who would help appraise the artifacts they'd be stealing. It was the perfect team for the given job. To infiltrate a ship undergoing refitting at a Sinar Fleet Systems orbital shipyard owned by a rich Imperial, and believed to contain an art collection of rare priceless works. There was just one problem. The ship was the Imperialis, the personal pleasure craft of Emperor Palpatine himself. While the theft of the ship was easily performed, the team narrowly escaped three Imperial Star Destroyers sent to apprehend them, using the advanced systems of the Imperialis to evade capture. After getting away, Lando and the team realized that the ship must be filled with valuable artifacts, and thus began searching to see what they just stole. Eventually, the team would make their way to the central chamber of the ship. However, after Corrin recruited the abilities of Lobot to open the door of the chamber with his cybernetics, they would learn what truly waited for them inside the vessel of the Dark Lord of the Sith. As the door opened, the team was shocked to watch as two royal guards emerged, with one impaling Lobot with the blade of their staff. As the two warriors engaged the guards, Lando and Corrin brought Lobot to a Bacta tank. Ultimately, after a long intense duel, Alexan and Pavel emerged victorious, killing both of the royal guards. But as the historian then removed the masks of the guards, she noticed that they'd both been corrupted by something they were protecting within the central chamber. Looking for the source of the corruption, Korn again entered the chamber, finding that the vault was filled with ancient Sith artifacts. And chief among them in the center of the chamber was the mask of the ancient Sith Lord Maumon. Although the historian recognized the pieces as being Sith, she didn't quite know the connection between the mask and Maumon. However, as she was explaining the value of the Sith artifacts, the mask again activated, with the eyes becoming illuminated with its now well-established red glow. Demonstrating that it was indeed the source of the corruption of the Royal Guards, Alexan then also became corrupted himself grabbing a double-bladed lightsaber from the collection, igniting it, and then removing the arm of Pavel. As Lando and Corrin fled the chamber, both of the warriors would become corrupted. Thinking back to her research, she remembered the concept that the ancient Sith, at some point in their history, became corrupted themselves. And although the Jedi suppressed knowledge about the Sith, it could be possible that the Sith artifacts were the source of this corruption. Ultimately, Corrin would be killed by one of the warriors when she was drawn to the potential power of the mask. However, the warriors would be defeated by Lando and also a bounty hunter who knew both Lando and Lobot named Chaneth Cha, who'd been sent to infiltrate and destroy the Imperialis on personal orders directly from Palpatine. After gathering Lobot from the medical bay of the ship, but having been unable to prevent the cybernetic implants from taking over his mind completely after his injuries, Lando, Lobot, and Cha escaped from the Imperialis just before the auto-destruct sequence was initiated, causing the ship to explode behind them. This entire arc is a great one, particularly since we know the Mask of Lord Maumon continues to be in the possession of Sidious in the years after the current arc of the Vader comic. Although we don't see the artifact of Maumon escape from the Imperialis and its fate is left unknown, something tells me that we haven't yet seen the last of it within the canon. So there we have it, how Lord Maumon's mask corrupted two royal Imperial guards. 
We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel, or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. If not for me... For really unexpectedly sad endings.